A new mountain range is rising up in Orange County. It's certainly the largest rockwork project um, that we've done in America. It is huge. It's big. Overall, the project takes up about 12 acres. The Cadillac Mountain Range is in Cars Land, a new addition to Disney California Adventure that opens up the summer of 2012. Working together, the artists who actually worked on the film, and John Lasseter, of course, who directed the film, and that kind of interaction, we think, is going to create a land which is unlike any other land we've ever done. Building the 440-foot mountain range took a new approach by Disney's Imagineers to make the 280,000 square feet of unique rock work. We were very careful with scale. We looked at the layout to the entire land. We wanted this mountain to act as a berm for us. That effort took altogether about a year to kind of figure out all the colors and the textures and the lay of the land. We actually not only defined the sculpting and the sculptural identity of the landscape, but we painted the model as well to make sure that all the color neighborhoods and the color shifts and just the look that we're trying to achieve is studied long before we get to the field. This model actually becomes a working document. We take it and build directly from it. We scan this model with a laser scan, put that scan information into a computer. It's fed into a bending machine that actually bends each bar per the data and creates the full-scale chips, which are exactly the same than what's on the model. So it's a pretty incredible system. And then that's what goes up onto the, the primary steel of the mountain. People can actually carry those pieces. They're about six by seven foot. This is literally what we're going to see out there in full size. After the steel chips are in place, they are sprayed with plaster. Well, depending on where we're shooting, the atmospheric conditions change, whether we're in the sun in the morning or the sun comes around in the afternoon. So we have to modify our mix design slightly with a retarder that will give us more longevity with regard to timing of carving. They spray it on and then they trowel it to form and then they come back and carve. Putting on a thin fog coat which is actual plaster, it's about a quarter of an inch thick and it's colored for the stratus so that if there's damage to the rock work you don't see gray plaster behind it, you see a colored plaster and then from there we apply the color. The finished mountain range will be the backdrop for several new rides including Radiator Springs Racers. On your mark, I get set. Una for the money, we'll do it for the show. Three tickets ready and a quarter of two, go! The rock work is more than just a backdrop. What we're trying to do is to immerse the guests in a world that we're creating so they really feel that I am in Radio Springs. Mark Eads reporting for OCregister.com.